Yo, 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 what's up, everyone? Welcome to my guide to Scorpion Catcher on RuneScape 3. A newest on old school RuneScape, I have a guide for that as well, recorded in RuneLight HD. Link description below. On screen right now is everything you need to prepare yourself for this quest. Feel free to pause this if you need it because I'm going to get straight into it. To start the quest, go to the Sorcerer's Tower, indicated by a yellow mark on his map. Some teleports that will get you close include Lodestone teleports to either Sears Village, Artie, or Catherby. There's also the combat bracelet to a ranging guild, skills necklace to a fishing guild, or regular combat teleport or Artie teleports. When you get to the tower, climb up the ladders until you reach the roof. Talk to Thormac and select the first caption to ask him what assistance do you need, then accept the quest to receive a scorpion cage. Go to Sears Village, the best teleport to get there would be a lodestone. Some other teleports that can get you a bit closer include the combat bracelet to a ranging guild or a camelot teleport. If you don't have either, it's actually not that far, so you might be better off walking. Find a seer, any one of them, talk to him, and select the chapters around the screen. Do not do anything when a dialogue first disappears, it will come back in a second, and you need to make sure you finish the conversation before you continue. Go to the Taverly Dungeon, the Lodestone 2 Taverly will get you closest. Some other ones that can get you somewhat close include the Fowler or Birthorp Lodestone. When you get here, climb down the steps. I'm throwing up a map of the entire dungeon for this one because it's a big place and I'm not sure you could follow me very well if I just let the video play of me walking around. So the yellow marker is where you need to go. There's a few ways to get there. Right next to the entrance to the east is a level 70 agility shortcut that you can use to get through to the other side where the blue dragons are. Then you just run around. A little bit further north on the west wall is a level 80 agility shortcut. It's not that big of a deal whether you use the 70 or 80 agility shortcut. Where it becomes a nuisance is when you don't have the agility level to access either shortcut. Then the last option is to walk around, which is what the yellow line represents. However, that requires something called a dusty key, which was on the item list in the beginning. So if you have it already, great. Just proceed. If not, then you have to go to the green marker on this map. So you would follow the yellow path until where it says poison scorpions. Then you see where it breaks off into the green path to the south. That's where you go. There are timestamps on screen for the part of the video once you get to location Dusty Key and another one for the part of the video where you get to location the yellow marker. Feel free to use those if you want and I'm going to leave this map up for just a few more seconds so pause this video if needed as I'm about to continue with the guide. This is for the Dusty Key. We're currently at the green marker location as shown on the previous map. Once you get here, kill the jailer. Pick up the jail key and use it on the cell to the south. Talk to Velrak the Explorer and select the chat options written on screen to receive the dusty key. Once you have the key, you can just exit the cell and continue the quest by going to the yellow marker. Uh, just simply follow the lines back, and when you reach the area where it says Poison Scorpions, you're going to turn west back onto the yellow line and continue on that path.
this is the next part of the quest. We are currently at the location of the yellow marker as shown on the previous map. When you get here, search the old wall to get inside this little room, then use a scorpion cage on the Karid scorpion. Make sure you actually catch it before continuing so you don't have to come back here. You should receive confirmation in your chat box. The next place you're going to go to is the Barbarian Outpost. You're going to use the Games Necklace to get there, but it's very specifically in that area that I'm showing you with the yellow marker. Take notice that it's in a walled off area and to get in you will have need to complete it, the bar crawl mini quest which was stated in the beginning of the video under quest requirements. I do have a guide as well by the way but hopefully everyone has completed it at this point. Open this door and there should be a scorpion in here but it also could have wandered out since this door actually stays open but regardless it doesn't go far just look around the area. Uh, when you see it use a scorpion cage on it and make sure you get it before moving on. Once again you should receive confirmation in your chat box. Go to the southeastern ladder in the Edgeville Monastery. You can use a combat bracelet to teleport directly there. Lodestone to Edgeville or an Amulet of Glory can get you very close. Varrock and Fowder are also decently close cities if needed. Uh, you need at least 31 prayer for his next part, by the way, which was also on the list in the beginning on their skill requirements, so hopefully everyone has that. Climb the ladder. A monk will stop you if you've never been up there before. Just select the first chapter to ask, well, can I join the order? Then climb the ladder again, and the scorpion should be right there or in the next room to north. Once again, use your scorpion cage on it and make sure you catch it. You should receive confirmation in your chat box. Go back to the roof of the sorcerer's tower. Talk to Thormac, and that will be the end of the quest, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for future videos to come if you haven't already. Catch you later. Peace.